In this shortcut tutorial we will show how to make a circular progress bar. The final result is an HTML file, that you run in a browser, or as a browser source in OBS Studio. There is a new parameter, countdown, not shown in this tutorial. It causes the value to count downwards, from max to min. While strictly speaking this is not a tutorial on Shotcut, it stems from a thread posted on the Shotcut forum. Go to the Shotcut resources page on my website, and click on the link for progress circle. Then click on the button that says Utility to create circle progress HTML. The utility displays a progress circle for the value 65. You can change the type of the display, by choosing a different preset. You can also change the background color. It is initially set up for a green screen. First let's look at the text of the value displayed. We can make the fill transparent, or a different color, and the same for the stroke. We can change its size, its font and make it bold. We can add a prefix, and a suffix. Now let's look at the value arc. By default, it starts at the top, with value 0, and runs clockwise, with value 100 back at the top. We can change the color, width, and dash array, as well as its line cap, to a rounded edge, or a button 1. Now let's look at the circle, which can be transparent, or have a color. The fill and stroke can be different colors, and we can alter the width, and dash array of the stroke. Now let's look at the format of the text, where we can specify the number of decimal points to display.
We can also display the value as a time, rather than a number. The default is hours, minutes, and seconds. But this is configurable. This part of the tutorial was done with the latest version of the app. The main difference is that for time, the value is in seconds, whereas before it was milliseconds. You can change where the arc starts, by the start angle parameter. 90 degrees starts at the 15 minute mark. You can specify that the arc goes counterclockwise instead. You can alter the size of the circle, and the arc, by changing the radius. When you have finished tailoring the effect, press the button, to download the HTML file. Then run it, to see the final result. The HTML file has the parameters specified at the beginning, as CSS variables. You can edit these parameters, to change the look and feel of the progress bar.